Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use multitask and task management in Trace Solo by using our new feature here. Whenever you have the situations that you are juggling with three different features, you're with toolbox and documentation, things like that, you will probably sometimes need some multitask support to enable you to work on multiple different task development tasks simultaneously while maintaining the complete visibility. So that's the time that we introduce introduce our task task management here so you can always see multiple tasks on the left side in tray solo and you can always hide and unhide this task column so let's say use a simple prompt to test what we can do so right now i have a code base and this code base is about an e-commerce code base that i want to build an ai shopping agent that can help me to compare the different prices on different um different websites and also help me to order this is a back-end pi and it need refactoring so let's first go ahead and refactor the code base so solo coder is perfect to tackling some challenges like this like refactoring or bug fix it can always keep you on the page by updating the to do's and then show you the visibilities of everything while it's refactoring the overall code base i will probably want to ask some questions for example after the refactoring how do i will actually act, deploy it so in this case we can ask once we refactor this how do i actually So you can see that the two tasks will work parallelly. So you are no need to wait for one task to be done before start another one. You can run multiple agents in parallel. For example, like when I'm asking this question, I also want to ask will be the CI/CD pipeline for this. And I will just go ahead and ask another question. So you can see that um, we have some specialized agent for every single task. So coding agent in Trey can now work together just like a coordinated team. They will share in the tasks, they will avoid conflicts, and they will deliver the comprehensive results. That you can only all you need to do is you just need to orchestrate everything through the visual workspace. Let's start a new task and then ask it to build the front end for us. Okay, so now that you can see my different queries already be done. And before you read this task, it will have a red green dot here. That means you you haven't read it. And even when you unhide the task, you can also see like the notification numbers here to show that you have some tasks need to be reviewed. So let's click it in and okay. So it says that um, the CI/CD pipeline need to be blah 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 things like that. It's perfect to work in this way because you don't need to worry about like you need to ask everything after the refactoring is done. So that will take a long time and you need to always wait. And now you can just have your uh, agent, different agents. One can work with the back end and one, one can probably work with front end and another thing will work with just ask some questions. Also, during the work progress, it will always report you the progress, the task status, for example, whether it's in progress or it's completed, or sometimes it needs your action, and it will say, wait for your action, so that you wouldn't worry about got stuck at somewhere. Everything will be visualized and with clarity during the agent work in progress. While the solo agent is working, so let me introduce more about our agent. So in different tasks, you can actually switch different agent as well. So solo coder is perfect for tackling different complex coding challenges, while solo builder actually will ship, help you to ship and build different web more prettier. It will help you to equip more context tools. For example, you can use Figma, it can use different um, doc views, it will automatically use in the browser. And we also in integrated a lot of different tools. For example, let's say here, if, if your um, your apps need a backend database, so we also help will help you to connect the super base services. We'll help you to connect the deploy by using Vercel. We also support payment services. work is done and as you can see we have the thing called artifacts so in this column we can always open and see what kind of the files has been changed so let's say in this case it has read the database and refactor and all those are files that has been changed and if open it up you can review the diff change side by side 
So more silver coder gave us the um the front end, but it has an arrow. So at the time of this, we will detect the console log has an arrow, and then we will be add to chat and then ask for more advice. Cool. So now we've done our task and then we have our front end right now and we have our code base.